This is an important mission. One Mr. LeBlanc, officer of the IIAO, has been kidnapped by the Valahia. IUPF Special Forces, call sign Fat Duck, rescued him, but was hit by hostiles in turn. They crash landed in the industrial area on the outskirts of the city. The IUPF has decided to launch a rescue helicopter, Paper Wasp, to save the VIP. A terror squad will fly escort. Keep in mind, however, that the Valahi are also occupying the mining plant in this region. After escorting Paper Wasp to the city, a terror squad will then deal with hostiles at the plant. Once the VIP is safe, you will then escort Paper Wasp through the oil field back to safety. Getting the helicopter through the oil field will determine the success of this mission. Antara Squadron, launch! This is Rescue Unit Paper Wasp. Do you copy? I'm heading in to recover the lost. Never thought I'd fly through a battlefield, though. I hope you're as good as they say you are. I'm counting on you. Defend the rescue helicopter from hostile pursuit and escort them safely to the city. And Terra Squad, I'm counting on you.
heading into the city.
This is Paper Wasp. I've reached target destination. All in one piece, too. I should be okay on my own from here. Roger that. How is Sleeping Beauty doing? Not sure about the beauty part. He's still sleeping like a baby, without a scratch on him. Excellent. Good work, Antares Squadron. Let's head back to base. Mr. LeBlanc is alive and well, and there were no serious injuries among the Special Forces either. This was achieved thanks to the flying of Paper Wasp and support of Antara Squadron. Good job. The Fortress Spiritus has now left the Middle East and is headed for Anatolia, Turkey. We are to fly north in pursuit. Vlahia's declaration of an attack on London has plunged Europe into a state of panic. Citizens are stocking up on food and essentials, and governments across the region have put emergency military measures into effect. The situation is most dire in London, where citizens have already fled the city in droves. However, the forewarning of this attack has ironically created a spike in demand for certain war-related services. In the U.S., the number of individuals taking out private war damage insurance has skyrocketed to record-breaking numbers. We talked with the CEO of the company who brought this particular brand of insurance to the market, Andre Olivieri of Olivieri Life Insurance. Why is our insurance selling so well? Up until now, the standard life insurance and property insurance have been woefully inadequate in terms of coverage for any kind of damage caused by war or terrorist acts. This, of course, is common sense. In the event of such a tragedy, insurance companies would certainly struggle to make good on a massive number of claims amounting to an otherwise astronomical sum. However, the insurance business is about duty and obligation. This duty extends beyond simple profits and losses. It is our obligation to provide security and peace of mind from the terror that affects all of us. Very well then. Time to throw in my next axe. 